Nadia Sawala, 58, and her husband Mark Adderley, 52, took to their YouTube channel to share a live reaction of the first episode of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan. Nadia began by laughing that Meghan continues to say that she did not Google Prince Harry before meeting him. The Loose Women panelist chuckled, First of all, why doesn't Meghan just admit that she did Google Prince Harry? Is there a single person in the world that was dating a prince or a princess that wouldn't Google? I thought that was quite a sweet moment that she is still saying that she didn't Google him once she was going out with him. Nadia then went on to say that she has always adored Prince Harry and felt no differently after watching the first episode. She described, it wasn't a sob story and it wasn't vicious and they seem a perfectly very happy couple. The actress then explained that she thinks she has put, her, finger on why some people are not a fan of the Duchess of Sussex. She continued, putting to one side the racists, of which there are many in every part of the world, I think a lot of people don't take to Meghan because of her Americanism. Now when I say that, for any of our American followers, I love the Americanism and that politeness, but a lot of Brits really find it difficult, that sugary, sweet way of talking. It's just alien to the Brits and we saw that in full swing in this documentary. Later in her live reaction alongside her husband, Mark said, they have front-loaded this with Harry's story so all the sympathy is going to be with Harry. Whatever, Meghan, says about her story will never compare to Harry's origin story. Nadia then jumped in and expanded, but we are looking at her story vicariously through his fear and the loss of his mother. It is very well told, very well told his problem with the media. I believe most people feel sorry for him. Nevertheless, Nadia commented that she didn't like the beginning because she felt it was staged and cringe. She explained, I didn't like the beginning, from either of them, their video diaries. It felt staged, they felt uncomfortable with it they said, ooh, a friend of ours told us we should do, the documentary. If I had been an exec on that I would have cut those out because I think it lost us a bit at the beginning. It just felt a bit inauthentic. But everything afterwards, the interviews, felt very authentic, but the first bit was cringe. The documentary begins with Prince Harry filming himself from the Windsor suite in Heathrow Airport as he left the country in March 2020. He says, what on earth happened? How did we end up here? The film then cuts to Meghan in Canada where she is filming herself on her phone with a towel wrapped around her head. She says, shaking her head, H is in London, and I'm here. I don't even know where to begin. Harry and Meghan is available to watch on Netflix.